OTMO family, what's up, man? Back at it with another video, man. Appreciate you guys, the ones that like and subscribe to the channel, also the ones that left comment. And uh, it's one comment that I want to say that I that I really I really mess with. I will give you guys a catch clean cook video. I seen that. Appreciate you for that content invite, man. I'm gonna do that for you guys. I don't know if you guys from CBK Kennels. I don't know if you guys from CBK Kennels that follow me, man. I want to give a shout out to him, man. That's my boy since growing up, man. You know, he doing big things on YouTube, man. I appreciate that shout out. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm here today to interview him. Let you guys see his camp. You know what I mean? You guys are going to stay tuned for some crazy content, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Like I said, man. Thank you to CBK Kennels, man. For giving me that shout out, giving me that support, man. I'm gonna show you uh, the life, the lifestyle, guys, of an American bully breeder, man. I'm, I'm gonna show you his camp. I'm gonna show you everything he got going on. I'm gonna let him give me the rundown on why he chose his dogs and why he did that. You know how I interview. And man, so y'all stay tuned, man. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Hey, how you doing? OTMO uh, family. Um, big, big appreciation to my boy. If uh, I want to do this interview with me, uh, the owner of CB Kennels. Um, man, listen, you know, dog breeding, man, dogs, everything has been my passion since I was young, man. Like, it's been my passion since I was young, man. Um, something I've always thought about doing. So as I got older and I got wiser and I got, you know, more successful, I thought, man, it'd be smart for me to invest in, you know, something that everybody loves. Who doesn't love a dog, man? Everybody loves dogs, man. So I was like, you know, let me go ahead and invest in dogs. But I didn't just invest in any dogs. I invest in micro bullies, exotic bullies. Um, those are the dogs. They're not pit bulls. They're not bulldog. Well, they all, they're mixed, you know what I'm saying? So those are the dogs that's like super short, uh, stocky, real like, you know, defined and muscular and toned. That's my choice. But I also breed Frenchies. Um, I'll be getting some... XL bullies here in, 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 in a few. Um, so I'll let you guys run through a kennel, some little kennel setup real quick. Quick question, what made you choose micros, man? Micro, and I'm gonna tell you something that's funny about that, man. Like, when I first came in the bully game, man, I had pockets, man. Pockets are a lot taller than the micros, man. But like, at first I didn't even like the micros. I was like, ah, man, they're too short, man, this and that, that and this. But then as I see my boy got his, my other boy I know who got his first micro, I was like, man, it look pretty nice, man. You know, I like, cause I'm more of a, you know, like a defined type dude, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, I like that. They short, they real compact, nice structure put together. It looks good to me. So I was like, man, you know what? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and invest the money into it. You know what I'm saying? And I like it. Like I said, ever since I got into it, man, I never looked back. I just went full out into the micros, man. I just, I, I didn't even, I, man, I stopped buying pockets, man. I got a pocket female, um, but I'm just all in the micros, man. I like that look, that stockiness, that bow-leggedness, man, that, 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 that mean look. But they're the nicest dogs you can have, man. They, they really nice, man. So, um, you can come on the side, man. Um, my killer stood up. I got my, you know, my stalls for each and every individual dog. Um... I got this girl, my girl. My first micro bully was that girl right there. She was my first micro bully, man. She came from Virginia. Juice, calm down, son. Juice, chill out. She came from Virginia, man. Uh, my first originally bought her from Virginia. Um, she got transported down. She got delivered to my front door, man. That's my baby. That's my pride and joy. I love that girl, man. She's uh, my everything. Next, I got my girl Sophie. I actually just ran a breeding with Sophie. And my boy Juice, he's my stud, micro. Five one son. Um, stat, he got stacked pedigree, man. His pedigree, man, is so stacked, man. He's literally a $20,000 dog, man. That's no cap. He's a $20,000 dog. Bro, that's some crazy pups that they have. They have yeah, pedigree, man. man. So, this right that litter, uh, two brindles. Um, that's my first time ever running two brindles back to back, man. So, I know we'll get some crazy colors. Um, she's a heavy, he, she's a heavy, uh, Color Thor, he's a heavy color Thor, man. So I'm very excited. It looks like she took, man. So, you know, we got about maybe two and a half more weeks to see if she took. So we're waiting on that. And again, it's my boy Juice. He's about 14 months old. Uh, that's my pride of joy. Right? That guy right there, man, is the face, as you can see, of CB Kennels. He's the face of CB Kennels, man. That man right there is my pride of joy. 
Um, he's my everything, man. I love that guy. Hey, OT on my family, man. Look at this guy. Head, man. That's my son, man. I love that guy. Um, man, that's just, he's everything to me, man. He's my pride and joy. I got my girl, Betty. Um, Michael Bully, she's very stocky, very, um, you know, nice, she's nicely put together, man. Very thick, nice rear. Um, not, head's not so big, but I'm not necessarily worried about it because I can get that out of juice. As you guys see, I'm going to take all these females to my boy Juice. Um, so again, you know, man, I'm just really, really eager and excited to see that litter if she took Ophelie. Um, so I, I just recently just did my new kennel. Um, I just did a, like a re, like reversion of a kennel. So before I had these kennels, I did these. And then you know, I decided, you know, man, dogs treat me right, treat them right. How you get that dog so thick, man? That's my question. Man. That dog right there, man. No, and no, 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 not Jews. Not Jews. That her. Man, yeah. it's, it's, it's natural, man. It's nothing I do, man. You know, again, the micros are shorter. They're going to be shorter and more stockier. There's nothing I feed here. There's nothing I... As you guys can see, she didn't even, even, even finish her bowl. So there is no food that I give her, man, that make her so big. She's just naturally big, man. It's natural. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like about them, man. There's nothing you have to feed them or anything. They're just naturally big, man, you know. So, you know, like I said, I got my girl Nova. I just recently uh, got her. Um, she's, uh, I want to say, about maybe 10 months, 11 months. Um, I just took her to the vet, man. She got some thing going on with her head, man. When I took her to the vet, he gave me some antibiotics for it, things like that. But it's clearing up real good, man. Like I said, man, real short. Micro compact, put together nice. Real short, man. She's real short. She's not gonna get that big, man. This 11 months, 10 months old, man. She's not gonna get any bigger. You know, who doesn't like a Frenchie? Who doesn't like a Frenchie? But I will say this I don't just have a Frenchie. I have the Frenchie. And my Frenchie, man, if you look at her, she's a tri color Frenchie. My Frenchie's a tri color Frenchie, as you can see. Tri color. This girl right here, man, she ran me a big bag, man. A nice, nice penny, man. This girl right here, she cost, man. She really did cost, man, you know. And I love her. I think she's going to be the next big thing that hits CB Kennels. Her right there. I got my, I also, listen, don't count me out. I got my boy, uh, Pocket Bully. I'll show him another day. I don't really want to show him right now. Um, but I got a Pocket Bully. Got a, uh, some more Pocket Bullies. Um, I'm just, you know, like I said, man, I've really been just, Busting down this micro game, man, because like I really like the micro game, so you know I'm just trying to um, figure it out um, and just execute this micro thing, man. Then my whole goal, man, is to open up a business where I breed, you know, I actually you know how they have puppy things. I want to open up a business where they do, you know, Pomeranians, Chihuahuas, uh, Frenchies, Bulldogs, um, everything, man. I want to get every single thing again, man. But I mean, like I said, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, I've been, I've been in the bully game. I want to say maybe maybe two years. Hey, come now, you guys. I've been in the bully game now. Maybe I want to say two years. Um, I have yet to get a micro litter because again, I just got into the micro. Litter. And when I got her, when I got Hennessy, she was only what six months. So I have yet to get a litter, man. These two um on the end, they went in the heat. Um, but I missed their heat, man. I got it at the wrong time, so I ended up not getting any puppies. But I did breed, um take them to juice, but. Unfortunately, like I said, man, things happened. The bully guy didn't bless me. But this go around, I think he definitely blessed me with that girl, man. But that's pretty much, you know, that, that's pretty much all I can say, man, you know. Any questions you have? Yeah, man. So I know this on the beginning for you, man. You know, I know I know you since we was kids. I know your work ethic, man. Mm -hmm. My question is to you, man. I know you said you want to open up that shop. Mm hmm What's next after you open up that shop? Like, what's next for CB Kennels? You know what I mean? Because I know, I know, like I said, I know the work after you bring to the table. Mm -hmm. I know you want your brand bigger than bigger than somebody else's. Not because you envy anybody or that. It's just, like I said, I know your work at I know you bigger, you bigger than you bigger than your name. You know what I mean? So, what's next, man? That's a great question, man. I, I got so many plans, goals, um, things set up that I really want to accomplish. But you know. My 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 real goal, man, is honestly, man, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, man, I, I want, I wanna go, I wanna go big, man. I wanna open up a clothing brand for CB Kennels. I want it to be official, man, official CB clothing. I wanna create uh, jackets, hoodies, um, socks, boxers, panties, 
everything, the whole nine yards, man. I want to actually go ahead and not not only open up um, my actual puppy store. I actually want to open. I've been really thinking about man getting into the the you know the SPCA man where they they save rescue dogs, man. Um, I don't know if you guys ever watch. Uh, Louisiana Logos. I forgot the name of it, man. It's I know who you're talking about. The pit bull, the pit bull, pit bulls and Brolies. Yeah, yes, there we go, yes, man. Yes, yes, man. Um, where they rescue pit bulls, man. They give them good homes, man. That I see myself doing that, man. I was younger, man. I used to watch that. I never missed the episode, man. I loved it. It's just something that always interests me, and I always had to watch every new episode. I never missed the episode, man. And that's why I see myself. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not your average dog lover, man. I, I like, I love my dogs, man. My dogs mean a lot to me, man. Like it's very interesting to me. I um, mean, you know, I really see CB Kennels, you know, being all over the world, man. I see me expanding everywhere, you know what I'm saying? I got the, you know, I got the brand, I got the name, I got the, you know, the audience. I yeah. think I think we're going to do some good things, man. Hey, man, I think her name Tina. Shout out to Tina, man, for hey, for letting this guy and influencing this guy to want to be dogs, you know what I mean? Because I can vouch for him. He always loved dogs since he was younger. And uh, I know this is different for my channel, you know what I mean? But I wanted to show this guy love, you know what I mean? Because he showed me love when he didn't have to. And uh, where can they follow you at? Where, where can they follow I know on your shirt I see your, I see your IG, but uh, if there's anywhere they can follow you at, man, let them know, man. Okay, so CB Kennels, um, it's gonna, my Instagram is going to be at CB Kennels. As you can see right here on my shirt, at CB Kennels. Go ahead and give me a follow, man, if you have any, you know, if you... Have any questions about any dogs or anything, man, I'll gladly answer any questions you guys have. Just let me know, you know what I'm saying? That's all I can pretty much say. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you taking your time and spending it with me, man. Yes, sir. Hey, man, like I said, shout out to CB Kennel and what he doing in his camp, man. Thank you for letting me take this time and interview him, man. Like I said, I know that guy, man. And to see what he going to see how he doing, man, I'm, I'm glad for the success, man, you know what I mean? And uh, I know this different. I know y'all see me with fishing, hunting, and doing all that and different type of stuff. But I wanted to give you guys this, you know what I mean? To, to let you know everything outdoors, animals. If it's about animals, I'm, I love them. I'm going, I'm going to do it. If it's outdoors, fishing, hunting, I'm going to drop that. You know what I mean? I, I don't want this just to be specifically stuff that you always see because so many people do that i want to switch it up and be different you know what i mean it's still an outdoor channel but like i say i want to give you guys different views and i want you guys to like what you guys see so i'm gonna keep bringing crazy content man otmo family guy i love you guys and thank you guys Go ahead. if you guys have any concerns any comments any ideas any video requests that you guys want to see, I'm all about that. You know what I mean? I'm all about giving with my fans what they want to see. And I know I'm building, so I appreciate the ones that's following me right now. But like I said, my comments is open. Whatever you guys want to see, any ideas, any concerns, anything that you guys want me to touch bases on, I will do that, man. You know what I mean? Because this is for y'all guys. This is for you. If you go back to my first video, I told you guys, I want to show people different ways of doing stuff because my way might not be your way you know what i mean like for example this is an outdoors channel but i interviewed cb kennel not every outdoors person doing that my channel's different my channel my channel is for you guys you know what i mean i'm dropping content for you guys so until next time otmo family i love you guys man dropping more crazy videos stay tuned for that man love you